Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today we're going to talk about different ways of how to subtract integers. If we look at our real world link of diving, the platform on a diving board is three meters high. The actions of a diver climbing up to the diving board platform and diving one meter below on the water surface are shown on the number line at the right. The diver's action can be represented by the subtraction equation three minus four equals negative one. Write a related addition sentence for the subtraction sentence. All right. Well, he went up three. So we can write that as a three. And if we want to add something to that, we can go, well, three plus the negative four equals negative one. So wait, three minus four equals negative one is the same thing as three plus negative four equals one or negative one? 3 minus 4 equals negative 1 is the same thing as 3 plus negative 4 equals negative 1? Hmm. I guess so. Number 2. Use a number line to find 1 minus 5. Then re write a related addition sentence for the subtraction sentence. All right. Well, if we come here and start at 0 and we go out to 1... And that's so that's my one. Then if we're trying to subtract a positive five here, we're gonna work our way backwards here. One, two, three, four, five. And that leaves me here with negative four. Alright, so 1 minus 5 equals negative 4. Well, if I want to write a related addition sentence to that, well, we started with 1, and then we can go plus that negative 5 equals negative 4. Huh. So 1 minus 5 equals negative 4 is the same thing as 1 plus negative 5, because they both equal negative 4. Huh. Huh. Well, here's our rule for subtracting integers. To subtract an integer, add its additive inverse. And we have some fancy symbols, but 4 minus 9 here was 4 plus negative 9 which was negative 5. 7 minus a negative 10 was 7 plus a positive 10, and that was 17. Huh. So when you subtract 7, the result is the same as adding its additive inverse, negative 7. So 6 minus 7 is the same thing as 6 plus a negative 7. We kept the first number, we changed the sign from subtraction to addition, and the additive inverse or opposite of a positive 7 is a negative 7. So 6 minus 7 was negative 1, and 6 plus negative 7 was negative 1. Same result. Huh. So anytime we subtract integers, we can just add its opposite or add its additive inverse. Let's try a few of these examples out. 6 minus 12. Well, if we follow that rule, we can keep the first integer. We'll change our subtraction to addition, and the opposite of 12 is a negative 12. So we have 6 plus negative 12. Well, I have different signs. So I can go 12 minus 6 is 6. But the absolute value here of negative 12 is more than the absolute value of 6, so this answer is going to be a negative 6. And negative 20 minus 15, well, that's the same thing as keeping the negative 20, change the subtraction to addition, and the opposite of 15 is negative 15. Well, here with negative 20 and negative 15, I have the same signs, so I can add these. 20 plus 15 is 35, and keep the negative 35. 
In the last one here, we have negative 22 minus 26. So that's the same thing as negative 22. Keep, change the subtraction to addition, and the opposite of 26 is negative 26. We have the same signs. So 22 plus 26 is 48, and we can keep the negative 48. So when we subtract integers, we're really doing addition with the opposite. In the next few examples here, 4 minus a negative 12. One thing you could write on all these questions, we can KCO, meaning keep, change, opposite, as opposite is the same thing as additive inverse. So if we keep the 4, we can change the subtraction to addition, and the opposite of negative 12 is a positive 12, and here I have the same signs, 4 plus 12 is 16. If I KCO keep change opposite here, keep the negative 15, and add, well, the opposite of negative 5 is a positive 5. In here with one negative, one positive, I have different signs, so subtract 15 minus 5 is 10. Now positive 10 or negative 10, negative 15 has the higher absolute value, so it's going to be a negative 10. And lastly on f, if I keep change opposite, keep the 18, add the opposite of negative 6 is a positive 6. I have the same signs, so just add and you get a positive 24. Now we can also evaluate expressions using integers. So for b minus 10, our b here is negative 8, so put that in for b. Just write the problem first, negative 8 minus 10. Well, if we can keep change opposite, we'll keep the negative 8, we'll change our subtraction to addition, and the opposite of a positive 10 is a negative 10. Here I have the same signs, negative 8 and negative 10, so add these, and you get negative 18. What about an h? Well, a is 5, so I can put in a 5 for a, minus b, well b is negative 8, so I can put in a negative 8 for b, so I have 5 minus negative 8. So if I can keep change opposite here, keep the 5, change the subtraction to addition, and the opposite of negative 8 is a positive 8. And 5 plus 8, while the same signs, both are positive, so add these and you get a positive 13. What about an i? Well, an i, c, is negative 9. So put that in for c. We have negative 9 minus our a is 5. So minus just the positive 5. And if I keep change opposite here, keep the negative 9, change your subtraction into addition, and the opposite of 5 is negative 5. And like h, where I have the same sign, so I just added, I have the same signs, but this time they're negative, so add 9 plus 5 is 14, but keep it negative. In our last example, we have a real-world problem. Brenda had a balance of negative 52 in her account. The bank charged her a fee of $10 for having a negative balance. Bummer. What is her new balance? Well, we started at negative 52. She was charged a fee, so we're taking away the 10. Well, if we keep change opposite, we have negative 52 plus a negative 10. We have the same signs here, so just add those together. 52 plus 10 is 62, but both are negative, so keep it negative. Negative 62, or her new balance of, make that a little nicer, her new
a new balance of negative $62, which is smaller than the negative 52, and that should make sense. That's all the examples. In summary, if you keep change opposite all of your subtractions into additions, you should find success. Good luck.